Welcome back. So let's actually start moving our code from the old application to the new layered application. And the first thing I want to move is the customer class. It's just easy to move the entity first. So that's what I'm going to do. I want a new class in the new solution that's called customer CS as well. And I want that one to actually contain these informations. One big difference is it's not good enough to have the classes internal anymore. So we'll just talk about that uh, shortly. Let's start out by just making the new class in the new layer setup like we had before. So I'll go to my new solution here. I'll find the layer that has to do with uh, entities, the one called customer app entity right here. There I'll right click and actually before that, let me just delete this one. I don't want that. That's old code. Let's get that out of the way. There's always a default class when you create a new property. If you need it, that's fine. I always just remove it and then start from scratch. I right click this guy, I say add and I select class down here. Then I'll go directly to the menu and it'll pre-select class for me inside the visual C sharp items right here. I'll call this class customer. Again, just like we did earlier, I press enter and here we have the customer class. Now I'll start adding my properties, but instead I'll just make it simple this time because we kind of want to copy the old solution. So I'm just going to go to my first solution and just grab all these guys directly and paste them inside my customer app. So I've created my customer class here now and I just want to show you a problem with the access modifiers. Remember this is an access modifier and these guys are public right now, but as default when you create a new class, it's actually an internal class. And that's going to be a problem for us right now because now we need to communicate. Remember internal was inside the current project, right? But now we actually need to go and read a customer inside the um, app UI. So let me try and go in there now and create a new customer so you guys can see the actual problem here. I'll just do var cost equals new customer like this. And there we go, customer. And notice it cannot find it, it cannot help me to actually do this. It tries to give me some BLL stuff. It, it just can't find the customer. So if I do a control dot, I also figure out I cannot there's no way to get customer access right now. The problem is actually that the customer is internal. It's only allowed in this project right here, so I cannot share it with other projects right now. So what you do is you go back here and change the default of internal into actually being public. Now again, notice if there's nothing here, it's internal. That's just important to know. Nothing here equals internal. So I have to make it public here. I'll do this as public now, go back to my program, and now I should be able to do a control dot and it knows that the customer is actually from the entity namespace, customer app entity. So let me just do this and get it in here. Now notice, now the namespace is actually starts making sense, right? Because we have a customer app namespace, that's a package, that's a project. And that project is actually being used, the name is being used right here. So we know the package customer app Entity contains a class of customer right now. And that's why we need to explain to the UI that we're talking to a customer, we're creating a customer class that we get from the customer app entity. That's why the namespaces are important. So now we've moved our customer into the new application. I explained a bit about the access modifier being internal normally and you need to make it public to share it with other projects. And now you also, we just created an empty customer here which is kind of boring, but let's continue and uh, have some more fun moving our code. 